As you're probably aware, Google owns Earth, SketchUp, and the 3D Warehouse, and all three of these can work together. Let's start the process in Google Earth. I've zoomed into Washington, D.C. I'll just switch back to SketchUp and open the Google Tool Palette. Note that this isn't an extension, it's part of SketchUp fundamentally. Click this button to get the current view from Google Earth and bring it into SketchUp. When I do that, I get an error here because my camera altitude is just too high. So I'll go back to Google Earth and zoom in. I have the view centered on the White House and switch back to SketchUp. I'll click this button again and it should import this particular site into SketchUp. It does that by bringing in a black and white image that it's captured off the screen. It actually brings in two different images and you can see that in the layers window. There are two layers here. The snaps layer represents a two-dimensional image and the terra layer represents a three-dimensional landscape. And you can just perceive a little bit of topography here if I orbit around. It's a fairly flat site. You can toggle between these easily by clicking this button. I'll toggle into the terra layer so that I can be working with the actual 3D landform. Now I could go ahead and design a building or put a 3D model in here and bring it back into Google Earth for further visualization. I think in this case, I'm going to open the components window and search for UFO and add a UFO here right on the White House lawn. I'm downloading it from the 3D warehouse. When the download is done, I have the object attached to my cursor. I'll place it right here in front of the White House. And then I'll close the components window and zoom in. This particular model looks like it comes with a little green man, which I'd like to get rid of. I'll just zoom out a bit. And let's say that this landing party has three UFOs. So I'll just duplicate this a couple of times. And I'll move one of them up in the blue direction to make it look like it's not quite landed yet. It's flying. Okay, at this point, when you're done with your design work in SketchUp, you can bring it right back into Google Earth for further visualization. Normally, all you have to do is click this button to place the model into Google Earth. Incidentally, you don't have to worry about the terrain model or the flat snaps layer coming back into Google Earth. They're ignored automatically. So I have an added complication, which is that I have Photoshop CS4 Extended installed and it has claimed the Google Earth format as its own. So when I click this button, what actually happens is SketchUp creates a KMZ file on my hard drive, and then it tries to open it in Photoshop, which isn't exactly what I want. Instead, I have to place the model manually, so I'll show you how to do that. I'll go File, Export, 3D Model. In the free version of SketchUp, there's only one choice here. Google Earth KMZ file. In the Pro version, you'll have additional exporters that allow you to bring your 3D models into other applications, such as CAD and BIM programs. I'll go ahead and give this a title, UFOs.KMZ export. When that's done, I can go ahead and close this status report and switch back to Google Earth and then choose File Open. Select the UFO's KMZ file and open it right here in Google Earth. There they are. The 3D models are available for visualization right here in Google Earth. There are a few matters we need to attend to, and for them we need the sidebar. We'll see that the UFO's KMZ file appears in our list of temporary places. It's actually a folder, which I'll expand and it contains a tour, which is actually just the camera, and the 3D model itself. If I double click on camera, I go to that place mark, and you see how we moved there. I'm a little bit too far away. I'd like to come in closer here, maybe zoom in a little bit more, change my point of view, and I'd like to save that in the KMZ file, so all I have to do is right click on camera and say snapshot view and then that will be saved in the place mark. Google Earth is actually hooked into the 3D warehouse internally 
and you can display content from the 3D warehouse by turning on the 3D Buildings layer. This has two sub-layers, Photorealistic and Gray. The gray buildings are just massing models that come from the Sanborn maps. The photorealistic buildings were modeled by the community or by Google. They are displayed here when this layer is on. So if you wanted to go ahead and model a particular building, you could submit it to the 3D warehouse, and if Google approved the work, they would include it in this layer so that everyone around the world who uses Google Earth could see it. Now, we don't have much of a chance with our UFOs to be included in that layer, but what we can do is right-click here and choose Email, and that would attach the KMZ file to an email. Or you could save it on your hard drive by choosing Save Place As. You can save it to My Places so that it will show up next time you open up Google Earth. And basically all that does is it drags it up here into this list above, from Temporary Places into My Places. And another thing you can do is share it with the community. Even if it's not going to become part of the photorealistic layer, there might be other people who are interested in your work. So you could choose to share post. That will open your browser at bbs.keyhole.com. It opens a Google Earth post wizard where you can select the category that you'd like to post your model to for sharing with the community. You can go directly from SketchUp to the 3D warehouse. You can share your model right here. You can also access models from the 3D Warehouse with this button, but this functionality is actually built into the Components Browser in version 7.